Good morning. Today, on this episode, we're going to be taking you on a journey in the islands on the eastern shore of Georgian Bay. We're at Bayfield Inlet, and today's mission is to go to three different geocaches. The journey will take about 10 kilometers in total, and the first cache is only about a half a kilometer away, and you can see we're camped not too far away. From there, we journey south to another cache, and then back east, and then back home to our camp. Hopefully, we can find all three caches, but we'll have to see. Will you come along with us? Let's go. Time's a wasting. Our first destination is just ahead, Whale Island. And the hint says the cache is in the blowhole. that nobody's been here for four years? No. Oh. Mm, that's recent find. There you go. A find for Ellie Cat 21. This is Whale Island, and yep, it was pretty much in the uh, blowhole. This is a lonely cache as well. It was last found on September 5th, 2019, and today is September 18th, 2020. So, not a bad year after all, because we got a lonely cache. I have to remember uh, when I'm signing the log, I'm not with Lyra class. We're with our daughter, Katie, Ellie Cat 21. So I got to remember to put her name on there, not Lyra class. <laughs> got her signed in. And now we've got about a three kilometer uh, paddle to the next cache. I'm really happy that the app is showing uh, the maps and, and I've got a good signal. But uh, where we are right now on my map, it's showing as a solid landmass, not a bunch of little islands like this. I thought the cache was uh, at a big old tree, but then uh, we we're about 10, 10 meters away. So we closed it up and then uh, into the cedars here. And it seems like this is a good place to be, but it's just. I'm, I mean, within a meter, and we just can't spot it, but I did find a couple of remnants of uh, duct tape. And the uh, cache description said it was uh, a box or like a regular sized container wrapped in camo tape, so we've got to be close. It's got to be here somewhere. Oh, I, I think I might see it, and I'm going to check on the other side. Yep, I think I found it. Well, that took a while. Oh wow. man, I got it. <laughs> wow. Yay. Oh. We were looking around quite a while and I was uh, afraid we weren't going to find this one because I found two pieces of duct tape right where the coordinates were leading to. And then I, I don't know, I, what else did you, you found a on a dog toy. A dog toy. I thought maybe that was swag and I thought, uh oh, the cache must have been muggled because there is a campfire nearby and the cache is actually only about eight feet from the campfire. <laughs> and I just kept looking and I thought, oh, I'll just keep looking over a little bit more as I go back for my camera. And there it is, an old pal fishing tackle box. <laughs> and this one is four years lonely. This one hasn't been found since 2016. Let's take a look to see what's in there. Four years. Ooh, all kinds of farm animals. Little wet crayons, horses. It's a horse farm. Pencils and erasers in good shape. Oh, more horses. Awesome. And the log sheet and your cash instructions in case you found it. 
old pal. Log number two. Last found. Oh, no, it's not lonely. Nobody, they didn't log it. August 26, 2019. They didn't log it online. And it's 2017. This is the last log online that I've seen right here. So these two never logged. Huh. Wow. Well, according to the logs online, it's a four-year lonely find. Because the last find is right here, uh, August 7th, 20, 2016. And this is September uh, 2020. But uh, there was a, a find on September 24th, 16, July 2017, August 26, 19. But never logged online. So is it a lonely cache for four years or not? I don't know. Because, of course, it's still a lonely, it's still a lonely cache for at least a year. Because the last log on the sheet is August 26th. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Put your thoughts in the comments below. We're back on the water. And we saw a beaver diving down and coming back up onto a little rock. Kind of odd looking, but uh, we tried to get close. We got a couple of shots of him uh, before he disappeared under the water. Now we're off to our last cache. It's a little bit closer than I thought it would be. It's 2.2 kilometers away. And it's a nice, easy paddle. The wind has kind of calmed down a little bit. And we're kind of sheltered from uh, some of the wind by the islands. We're just coming up on our last cache of the day. Uh, it's about 250 meters away. We just got to go around two points and should be right there. We'll just dock, get out, and hopefully we can find it pretty quick. Just around the corner. That's all we got to go. Just in the little bay. Without hitting the rocks. We made it to dry land now. We have to search for the last cache, and I see a bunch of rocks that look promising, so we'll check there first. Okay, those rocks are in the wrong direction. Got to go the other way. Yeah, I thought it was uh, above, but then the coordinates were pointing back towards the canoe, and it looked like some good prom promising spots right here. And I see it. Uh, Ta -da. Uh, you, Trina. Dot com. That piece of coal. Logbook. Anything else? Same cards. <coughs> Clip. Clip. Shinger. Slobber. This is also a lonely find. Last found September 4th, 2019. And way overrated. This is a 5 5 cache. Yeah, so the five is for the ca canoe, the water feature, but that was not a 5 difficulty. But that's okay, we'll take it. <laughs> 5 5 is good. We got the caches found, now we gotta head back to camp. See you there in a bit. So back at camp, we were successful in finding all three caches we set out to find. And it only took us five hours. So the kilometers were less. It might have been about eight to nine kilometers, not 10. Uh, and it took us five hours because we stopped for a little bit of a lunch break and to collect some firewood for tonight's fire. 
all three caches could easily have been done uh, in one day as a day trip. You could have launched in the morning, done all three, and packed up and been on your way. But I'm using this as an opportunity to have a canoe trip with our daughter. And speaking of our daughter, well, what did you think? It was great. It was a long trip, but it was <laughs> worth it. <laughs> she was struggling at the end. We were on a headwind the whole four kilometers back. And it was pretty tough. Yeah, it was tiring. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, we just wanted to, I just wanted to bring her up on a canoe trip for the weekend. We've, I've never done that with her. I've done uh, one with our son, you saw that last month, and one when he was a kid. But I had never come with Katie for a canoe trip, and I thought it was time to do a father-daughter weekend. So, Lyric Glass is at home, and uh, we're off having fun in the camp. So... Thanks very much for coming along and uh, checking out our adventure for these three lonely caches. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Yep, where will geocaching take, take you? you?